So we're looking today at changing scales. If you notice in these two drawings, neither one says original. They're both labeled with a number. So we're calling this drawing one and this drawing two. And we're going to decide what the scale factor would be if this was the original and this was the drawing from it. And then we're gonna reverse it. What if this was the original and this was the drawing of the original, okay? And we're gonna use the scale factor here what goes underneath? We always want the original, whether it's original price, original measurements, original always goes on the bottom of the scale factor in the, and the, the length of the changed goes on the top. And that doesn't say that up here, but it does say the scale drawing, and that means what we drew or what, what was changed. So we're gonna fill in this table down here together. And we're starting with drawing one to drawing two. That means that we're looking at drawing one as the original because we're going from it to drawing two. So let's make a little ratio map for our scale factor. If drawing one is the initial or the original, original always goes in the bottom of scale factor. And the one we're making from it goes on the top. So for us to remember, all of the measurements for drawing two are gonna go in the top of our scale factor and the ones for drawing one as our original are gonna go on the bottom. So let's compare horizontal distance. Horizontal goes across just like the horizon when you're looking out at the sunset, that's the horizon, horizontal goes across. What is our horizontal distance for drawing two? 3.92 and what is our horizontal distance for drawing one in this case our original 2.45 and then take your calculator and divide those and I got 1.6 how about you guys so that means our scale factor looks like it is 1.6. To confirm that, we're now going to do also the quotient, meaning we're gonna divide the corresponding vertical distances. Again, we're gonna start with two, which is 2.4, over its corresponding for vertical, which is 1.5. And we're gonna divide those and we're hoping we get 1.6 again because that means we've got the same scale factor. Yes? Okay, and now this gets to the percent part. If I write 1.6 up here, remember if we're trying to find a percent from a decimal, we multiply it by 100. That also means we're moving the decimal place two places over. So what would we get? 1.6 times 100 equals 160%. Or as a fraction, it would be 160 over 100. And then the question is, is that a reduction or an enlargement? If we're going from one to two, as this is the original and this is what was drawn, is this an enlargement or a reduction? And we can also tell that from the number because our number and our percent is over what? It's over 100%. So now we're changing what the original is. And this time we're gonna say we're going from drawing two to drawing one. If this is our original and our scale drawing is this one, we're gonna have this one be in the base of our scale factor and this one on top. And we're gonna do the comparison again. So horizontal distance, first we're starting with drawing one and it's 2.45 over 3.92 and let's divide those again. 
Should we be getting a number over 100 or under 100? Mm -hmm. And I got 0.625, which is under the number 1, which means it's under 100%. Let's do the reverse here. What's 1.5 divided by 2.4? And we're hoping we get the same number because that's our scale factor. And this looks like it was also scaled down 0.625. If I take 0.625 and multiply it times 100, what happens? Mm -hmm. So our percent becomes 62.5%. Is that an enlargement or a reduction? Reduction. reduction. <clears throat> okay. So today's work is for you to complete this table on this page. If anything here doesn't fit in this table, there is a piece of binder paper next to it where you can do additional work. Just label which parts you're working on if you do that over there. And there's three different drawings and you're changing which is the original and doing some comparisons. What's nice here is that these are regular shapes, meaning all of the side lengths are the same. Okay, so a square is considered a regular triangle because all of its side lengths are the same. These are all, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, regular what? Octagons. So when it says drawing one to drawing two, your drawing one is your original, and it's going to go on the bottom. And we're saying we're taking it from this to this, so this would become our scale drawing, and two would go on top. Make sense?